always purring on your back The rise and fall of your breeze Hey dad, hey mom, we are here, please come out Oh, you both are here already I thought we told you to come in the evening Good afternoon ma, it's a pleasure to meet you Good afternoon to you too, you must be Randy Oh, come on mom, is that even necessary? You can go ahead and talk about him, not me Sorry ma, I totally forgot you are here So where is dad? He's not here back from work. I called him a few minutes ago. He told me he's on his way, so he'll be here soon. You have a nice place here, ma'am. I love the setting and the interior decorations. I love that compliment. In fact, because of that, I will give my daughter to you free of charge. Mom, stop cracking a joke. It is only a compliment. Oh, please forgive my manners, Randy. You can have a seat. You are very welcome to our house. My daughter has waited for you for 31 years of her life. I am glad you are finally here. I don't think I will ever escape you talking without involving me. Thank you very much, ma. I feel lucky to be involved with this family. This is one of the highly respected families in this city. You can say that again. That is the fact and pure truth. I prepare specially for your visit. Her father will soon be here. Let me check what I'm cooking. Have a seat, Randy. Let me help my mom in the kitchen. Okay. So dad, tell me, how do you see Randy? He's nice, right? I know you like him because mom likes him. You know your mother would definitely like him. She has been waiting for you to bring a man. Now that you finally did, she has no reason to hate him. That is a lie, please. Randy earned the likeness by himself. So tell me what you think of him. I like him. He's good. He's intelligent and has a good source of income. And he's very respectful. Oh, so dad, is that a yes from you? My beautiful daughter, you know I can never tell you no, no matter what. Thank you, daddy. So he's the young man Messi told me you have been chasing, confessing your feelings to him and proposing to him. I don't blame that girl. I told her to pack her things out of my house. I wonder what she's still doing in my house. Just take it easy. I don't know why she had to lie. I have had enough of her nonsense. That was how she lied to Randy. I don't want her in my house anymore. I already told Randy when to come with his mother. He wouldn't need to be fixed. Okay, dad. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Patricia. Why are you late? I am sure this is not the time I told you to come. I am really sorry, sir. Actually, I changed my mind from coming. On a second thought, I decided to give it a try. Why? What happened? Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Actually, I have my CV, but all my school certificates is with my friends. He seized everything from me, and he has refused to return them. You are engaged? Yes, sir, but the relationship is complicated. I see. Is it the one that arrested your mother a few weeks ago? Yes, sir. It is confusing. He is engaged to you, yet he arrested your mother. How come? What happened? It is a long story, sir. I am not ready to talk about it to anyone. Thanks for the care. So is that why you have stayed back today? You should know I won't conduct an interview on you. I don't even need your CV or documents. All I want now is for you to start working. Really? Thank you very much, sir. I will do everything to help you. Don't worry, your salary will be discussed before the end of today. How is Mama doing? Mama is fine. She sent her regards. Okay, my regards to her too. Let me appoint someone that will see you through until you get familiar with the job. Okay, sir. Stars in the night sky Gentle and wild like you and I Esther, why are you ignoring me now? What is really my offense? Shabi, I have apologized to you. How could you, Mercy? How could you spread such fake lies about me? I thought we were friends. We are still friends. You and I know what I told your father is the truth. You have been the one trying to make the relationship work. And so, is it your business? Point of correction, that was not what you told my father. Did I ever tell you I proposed to Randy? Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I am sorry. It hasn't gotten to the point where you should tell me to move out. When you moved in here, you told me you were only going to stay for a few days. It's been months already. Just give me a little more time. I don't have any little more time for you, Mercy. If not for all the bad things you say about me, I would have made you my chief bridesmaid for my wedding. You are getting married? Yes, I will be getting married to the love of my life. You can go ahead and tell people I will be the one to sponsor the wedding. Please don't talk like that. Yes, I admit my mistake. Please give me another chance. I want to be part of your wedding. I will not tell you to move again. The next thing I will do is to bring you some men to throw your things out. You don't mean it. He employed you without an interview. 
yes so i was also surprised like you are i didn't expect it when i went there i was expecting him to tell me no i have no evidence of my qualifications that man really likes you i mean it takes love to be able to sacrifice for someone i don't think so maybe he feels pity for my man i i don't think so i'm also sacrificing for you because of the love i have for you and mama so if he's helping you out that means he loves you maybe it is ordinary love because you are already registering something else in my head spoiled child which other love are you talking about maybe it is that one i'm also talking about it's not bad after all but i doubt if he likes me just look at me i'm way below his level he cannot stoop so low for someone like me oh my god are you listening to yourself right now i wish i can give you a resounding slap to reset your brain why are you always looking down on yourself you won't understand that big girl but i know what i am talking about I can see that Richard has tampered with your self-confidence. Girl, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, and you're smart. You are a graduate. You are even someone's prayer point. The only thing you lack is money, and you will soon have money. Thank you, dear. Please stop looking down on yourself. Oh. Any man that rejects you has problem with his eyesight. We guys check it. Just focus on your job. In the next two years, you will stand on your feet. Your Imagine, see how I just spoiled my game by myself. What was I thinking when I went around telling people she is a cheat and she has another man? I should have simply forged something bigger than that. Something that she doesn't have a womb that would have made Randy run away from her right from the beginning. What do I do now? Esther already thinks I am against her and she wants me out of her house. She cannot have everything. Is she the only person on earth? How can one person be rich, has a happy family and has a fiancé that loves her so much? At least I have to benefit from one. Her dad seems not to be interested in me. I don't even know the tactics to use to make her father fall for me. Esther doesn't seem to remember the money I borrowed from them. I have to make her father my sugar daddy so I will be able to pay the money. So mom, that was everything they said. Trust me when I say they are nice people and I love the fact that they love themselves. I'm glad you chose from a noble family. I have always been scared about you getting married into a family that will give us trouble always. Esther's parents are not like that. They hosted me very well and they kept saying they can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see them too. Well, I didn't expect anything less from them considering how well mallard Esther is. I'm so happy that everything works out well. No wonder I've been single all these days. My soulmate was somewhere waiting for the right time to show up. How did you even meet her? You haven't still told me how you both met. It wasn't something fancy. I went to meet an architect that lives in the same place she lives. I ended up going to her apartment to inquire where her neighbor went to and the rest is history. Sharp guy. Yes, mom. It taught me how to be smart. That means I have to meet my in-laws in two days. Yes, mom. Desert stars in the night sky. Gentle and Good morning, sir. Good morning, Patricia. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. You called me last night to ask for my account number, which I sent to you, only for me to wake up today to see $70 credit alert from you. Is that why you are surprised? I am very surprised, sir. I mean, it is not yet time for my payments. I still have three more weeks to work here before I will be paid. You don't have to be surprised, Patricia. You should know by now that I care about you and Mama. Yes, I know. But, sir, $70 is just too much to give out. You have done too much for us already. I haven't done anything for you. I realized that Mama must have finished her medicines by now, so I want you to use the money and get her some drugs. How do I repay you, sir? How do I repay all this kindness towards Mama and I? We don't even know you. You don't have to know me before I help you out. All I want is for you to focus on your job so you can make Mama happy. Mama is very grateful for the money. She kept praying over and over again for you. She said you should stop by the house today so she can thank you with a meal. No, don't worry about it. There is no need for that. You can go back to work. Okay, sir. Abigail, how are you doing? It's been a while I saw you. Did you travel? I've been around, Mama. I just traveled for two days to see my parents. So they have been bothering me to visit home. I hope they are all in good health. Yes, they are. How are you doing? I hope you are in good health too. Yes, my dear. My health is getting better by the day. Least I forget, Jude sent $70 to Patricia this morning. Jude? I don't know the Jude you are talking about. That's the same way I always forget his name. I'm talking about the young man that bailed me out of the station. 
Oh yes, I remember. His name is always confusing, so I always have a hard time remembering him. He sent seventy dollars to Patricia this morning. I've been so happy and grateful all through the day. Hmm. This dude of a guy is already taking my place in this family. I'm getting jealous, so. No, you don't have to be jealous. You are my daughter, and you will always be my daughter. Mama, I hope you have eaten. I can take you. There's a restaurant close by, so you can eat. Don't worry, my dear. I have eaten enough. Okay, Mama. I bet to take my leave now. You know it's been a while I saw you, so I decided to come check up on you. You have done very well. Why not wait for Patricia to return? I thought you would stay with us for a while. Don't worry. Next time I come, I will stay the whole day. Okay, my dear. Take care of yourself. Richard, I wonder why you are in my house today. Why are you waiting for me outside? Where did you go to since morning? Do you know how long I've waited outside for you? You have no right to ask me such a silly question. I'm not answerable to you. Besides, you should have gone back to your house when I didn't return. It is not a harmful question. I'm just annoyed that you took so much time to return. I went to my best friend's house to see her mother. How may I help you? I am here because of Patricia. I want you to help me talk to her. Patricia has changed and I'm getting worried. She has changed in what way? In a good way, right? For the past few weeks now, Patricia and her mother haven't requested for money from me. How do they survive? Is Patricia working? <laughs> I love that look on your face. I pray God will continue to change my friend for good. She has suffered too much in your hands. What is that supposed to mean? Is that what I asked you? I want to know if Patricia is seeing someone else and if she's working. You will not get anything from me. Patricia is happy without you. Stay away from her. She deserves a better man than you. I want you to help me talk to her. I still love her. I will never do that. Allow that girl to be happy for once. Why do you want to spoil everything with your bad luck? You are provoking me a big girl. Do you know what I have suffered for that girl? Do you know how long she tolerated your awful character? She wanted to marry you but you messed everything up so let her be. She's seen someone else, right? You will not get a word from my mouth. Get yourself out of my house before I call the security. I'll find out myself. It's all I wanted.